everyone, my name is Desby, and I'm going to be teaching how to color eyes a little bit. I uh, just want to say that I am not a professional, just uh, I was just learning how to study how to color eyes and skins more realistically, and uh, someone, uh, one of my friends was like, can you teach me how to do eyes? And I was like, yeah, sure, I'll make a tutorial about it. Um, so I just want to say that these are just studies that I did on this particular method I learned from an artist named Sakimi-chan by watching some of her videos that comes from her Patreonage, which I will leave a link in the description so you can go check out for yourself if you are interested. Um, so these are just like off of observations on how she, how she makes some of her eyes look. So this isn't the exact method, but it's just a method I'm trying to find more fitting for me and more comforted for me. And so maybe hopefully this will help you. Uh, I also want to say that this is my first tutorial, so there's going to be quite a few mistakes and you're going to hear like mouse clickings and buttons pushing because I'm, I've never done, I, I'm not really prepared for a tutorial. But what are you to do? Anyway, um, so here is what I learned. I will share it with you, but it's always best to learn from real life, which honestly I, I like doing. Okay, so I've tried it like a few, a, a good amount of tries, because I was trying to recreate it to look the same, but even though I'm using the same method, it's it always came out different. And I apologize if you hear my cat. <laughs> but anyways, it always came out different. But it's usually it's it's with the same method. So repetition, hopefully that'll get everything to uh, come more naturally when you find something that works for you. So take everything I say with a grain of salt because it is just to help provide for you to come up with uh, your own style and uh, I, I'm like I said I'm not a professional myself I am just learning <laughs> all right so I didn't have many safe states for my first try because I didn't expect to be doing a tutorial and I'm kind of really bad at safe states but I did a lot on the fifth one and that's what I'll be showing you. I'll be showing you how to do everything anyway. Just want to show you the little process that I went through. And I'm apologizing if this video is just a little too long. Okay, so here's how I started out. <laughs> Beautiful, right? <laughs> Wonderful. Um, so I was just making the little white areas and then I was drawing outside. And then it's like, wow, a big jump. He comes out more. Um, and I was drawing more of the lines, putting the pupils in, irises. I get those confused, please don't kill me. <laughs> um, and yeah, I was, I added in the little highlights to the eye line part, adding the tear ducts. Then I added like this cool gray. I was gonna give him like really dark brown or well, at first I planned to make his eyes really dark but I haven't seen anyone with um, black eyes so decided to give him like a cool gray and that's how it originally started eventually like in the next one I changed it to brown you'll see it back so I added the cool gray and then I kind of I cleaned up and I kept I just kept this soft and just added a highlight and just kept things really soft and added a little iris pupil pupil <laughs> uh, pupil in the middle and what I mainly used for this whole thing was either the soft brush or this uh, for me this texture brush that I have um, I can't show it right now but I'll show it in a little bit well, actually, I can show it again. here we go texture brush texture soft brush that's what I use and if you want me to teach you how to make
make that, I can make that in another video. Because for now we're just focusing on the next. And so mainly the tools that I use are the so the soft brush, the opacity, messing with the opacity, the multiply brush, and then for other people you could make a new layer and use multiply instead, and the overlay brush. That is all I use to make these eyes. And it's a lot easier than it looks. You'd be surprised. Alright, so we're gonna go to the second try. And then, right off the bat, I forgot to mess with the contrast. And also, his I had his natural color before. Like, the brown I have here. And then I added it in the darks later. And I made the mistake of adding... Using the dark brown instead of the lighter brown because with the lighter brown to me it came out nicer and it mixed with the skin tone very well so this one i used the darker brown and i didn't really like the end result more he just looked he looked scary to be honest <laughs> and like i said i'm really bad at the save states but i added in a more of a a white but it's not it's not white i tried to avoid the white I keep it pretty near the white when it comes to like these kinds of colors because white to me it it kind of makes things depending how it goes it kind of makes things kind of muddy and it looks a little fake and I honestly would like to use the white as more of a last resort like to make something really bring up something a lot so that's just how I work with it but if you just use like something like this more in the skin tone area it kind of just makes it look more natural to me so that's something you could like play with if you'd like all right so i added like a little white and it's and it probably was a whiter white color but i set the opacity probably to 50 30 or maybe i think this one was 20 percent because i didn't want it like overwhelming and taking over the whole eye so I added that and I did the highlights differently here um, I'll show you more in a different try but there was a way that happened with the highlight and I don't know and it's it's a highlight method that I saw Sakumi Chan use and I don't know if it's something she does in all of the pictures or if it's just because of the environment but, you, but um, I'll show you in a little bit and in this one I just used everything to soften, and he came out more brown, grayish in this one than the blue. And I used overlay to bring this, this out a little more, and just defining everything, just basically sharpening the eyes by um, just putting in small details, just like small s subtle details, because I really believe in less is more. Then. Just adding more details on the side. And then I was trying to soften it because I realized at the end I used the wrong color. And it, it didn't really work out, but I tried. <laughs> because I noticed up here, I'm like, wow, he looks more mean than the last one. And that's how I realized, oh, I used it super dark. So be wary, wary of that if you use like the really dark browns. They might come out meaner. Alright, so now we're on to the third try. And I hope this video wasn't too long. Alright. So I got the whole eye set up and I'm raring to go. Got the details down, got that all going on. And then cleaned up a little bit, add in the eyeliner shine because it's really wet so it's going to be, it's going to shine a bit. Highlight to the tear ducts and I use, I brought back the cool gray because I, cool bluish gray because I really liked it and added in the highlights and I added the pink around because there's like, there's veins and stuff attached to our eyeballs so it comes out pink. I brought it out a little more and I used the multiply brush to shade here and I used the the white 
tannish light color and I used it here to soften everything and then I added go away I added little just the little details to finish it off alright so now we're on the fourth try yay fourth try and I actually was really zoomed in on this one so his eyes came out huge like I call them animal eyes they just came out like puppy eyes so try to avoid being like super zoomed in oh um, so yeah I'm just building things up adding the this color it's not even white but it looks white that is like the crazy effect of colors it's amazing right and then I was this is the uh, highlight I was telling you about that I was doing differently I used a blue and then I used I changed the opacity to like 30 or 50 percent and I was just messing around until I found the right color and then got the right color and then I was just coloring more with the light, lighter opacity and that's how you blend in here and I will be showing you that firsthand when I get to when I get to it and then I added this blue highlight because in this one I added a white highlight well not white see it's tan but it looks white crazy Sorry. <laughs> but I added that and then here I started making everything a little darker just with the multiply brush and look very low opacity so it's not too overwhelming and I added in highlights here like usual and then here I brought out the uh, brown a little bit more just not too much because I still want to keep it dark but I used uh, I used the, I think it was the overlay brush for that. And just the lighter color. Go, oh, wait. I'm doing it too fast, I'm sorry. Then I added the white over, not the white, but the lighter color over the eyes, softening it. And then I wanted to bring these out more. The pupil, and then just around here more. So I had a low opacity and I was using the eye drop tool, which you can push alt and it brings this out. Copies the color and then you just draw. And then I wanted to add in the cool gray and I made the highlights pop just a little bit more. But the cool blue gray and then he came out with these puppy eyes. He looks more upset that he's like about to cry. But this is what I did. Alright, and then I was actually doing a tutorial earlier and I forgot to push record. <laughs> but I have a bunch of saves. So here we go. <laughs> I'm sorry. So we got the, got the shape. And now we're defining it, cleaning it up, getting the not white. Just a nice little cool tan gray. And then I move the eye a little more. And add in the details. And then I added in the uh, the highlight that I was talking about. And then the eyeline the eye line and the tear ducts. And adding in details. here multiply and overlay is what I mainly did here multiply and overlay and then using the brush to bring in the highlights then I added in the gray the blue gray uh, isn't it crazy it looks like it jumped like oh my gosh what did you do it's like so popped you must do like awesome things of magic and 
It's it's really not that. I just used the soft brush and overlay. And that, that's honestly what I used. I, I promise you. <laughs> Just brought out the highlight a little more. I hope you can see that on this resolution. I hope it's alright. So, because I forgot to <laughs> to record, I'm gonna be teaching you how to do this. And hopefully it'll go all well. So I'm gonna bring up the tutorial and I just decided to take the save the the face from the other one. So that way it can kill some time. So I don't have to adjust the eyes and everything. Alright, so got your brush, got color going on. Let's get to making some pretty eyes. So we're gonna be working on the little highlight, and you're gonna take blue. At this doesn't go for all the colors, but for now, I'm just teaching about the brown. Um, I haven't messed with any other color. I just literally just been messing with this one color this whole time. So I can't advise anything else. Play with it. Maybe take this color from your environment and see what you get. All right, so I switched it to 50 opacity in lightly pressing, and I'm gonna take this color instead. And then, this is how you blend. You just like change the opacity, press lightly, take the color that's surrounding. As long as the brush allows you to do that. And then you just like blend. There you go. You know how to blend in Photoshop. You are unstoppable. And I'm going to do it to the other eye. I'm going to change it to 100% since this is the color I want now. Now we're gonna get blue again. Oh, and I make a new layer to add it above by the shortcut Control J. I don't know what it is on the uh, the Apple or the Mac because I've I don't think I've ever touched one in my life, so I'm sorry. <laughs> but the one that does I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Forgive me. But we're gonna get a blue. Just pick one that you like the most at the moment, because I don't really have a particular one. We just don't want it overpowering, because it's gonna be covered anyway, so we're just trying to find a comfort one. All right, so. Then we're gonna stay here. We're gonna stay away from white as much as possible. And if we ever do get white, we're going to change the opacity because it gets overpowering and it really should be used as a last resort. I say that like you have to, but it's just really my opinion. It's just amazing the colors you can come out that makes you think you see white and you, you're not actually seeing white. I'm just mind blown by it and I hope you, some people will be too. Anyway, so... And we want the blue to be showing probably at the bottom a bit. It's your preference. These highlights look like they're strong right now, but they are going to be dulled down later. And we are going to bring back just a little bit later on. But there we go. We got his eyes started. And then... Actually, let me fix this a bit. He's gonna look like he's looking off, but due to, uh, see, it's probably because this eye looks bigger than this one, but due to the time I'm trying to make this video short, I can't make it, um, too pretty. So, like, just too perfect, and I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I'm not that fast, I'm sorry. So this is what we're given. Um, You don't have to do all this on one layer. If you get to uh, feel like you're like, I don't want to mess it up or something like that, go ahead and go to new layer and just paint over it and and try to, that's what I do here. 
Like, in case I don't like how that goes, I can just go back to this one and just start alone. So don't be afraid to do that. This is your painting. You decide its fate. And make its fate glorious. That is your job as an artist. So what we're gonna do now is we we have this we have this like purple color in the eyes now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take like a light a lightish yeah, probably skin close. Like these are more closest to skin. And oh, I should probably explain how I pick my highlights and stuff. Like why I go. If I'm trying to make it more highlight, I usually try to desaturate it, which is going to the left, and I angle it up. And then I lift this thing here up. And depending on your light source, uh, it might change. So he has like a yellowish kind of kind of light source going on. So that's why I'm going up more towards the yellow. Anyway, so we got that. And we are going to go to multiply. And this is where all the the fun trials begin. You are going to be messing with the multiply. And 100 is like, wow, way too powerful. Even as light as this color. Wow. Look at that. So strong. So I'm going to reduce it to 50% for now. And just bring out... See? It's much softer. It gets the job. And I just realized that I forgot, so give me a second. No, stop that. I forgot to... I'm tapping lightly. Pollution lightly, because I don't want it to bring... To throw off everything too much. Tapping lightly. I forgot his eyelids. And these down here. So I'm going to take this color, reduce it to 50%. Because that's the highlight color. I'm going to just gently put in the highlights. Yep, still recording. Okay, so we have the highlights in. And I know these aren't the most perfect tear ducts imaginable, but we gotta make do. Okay, fine. I'll fix them. Fix them real quick. Because I can do that. I can do that. Okay, 50%. Let's add these little highlights. Alright. So, we're adding the shadows a bit. Going to... That's not where I want to go. This is where I want to go. Multiply. Just trying to make it a little darker. And then, I'm going to take the overlay brush, or in some other people's faces, like Psy users and stuff. Make a new layer. Go to overlay. And I'm going to go into the pinkish areas. Is that 50? I'm going to add a little pink because of all the veins attached to your eyeball. Hold up. Is it veins? Sorry, I, I, I don't know terminology. Um, then I'm going to change it to a normal brush a bit. Normal brush. Diagonally down. There. So that's the next darkest part. And then we can just redarken it. Make it look natural. Multiply. Is that 50%? Boom. We didn't even add it. Don't know what you're talking about. It was there the whole time. Boom. Okay, so now since it's kind of looking a little dark, we're like, his eyes disappearing. What are we gonna do? 
just want to tell you what we're going to do. First of all, I forgot to add in 100%. Forgot to add in like this. Make it look like there's the eyelashes over his eyes. That was so my bad. Alright. Then we're going to lighten this a little bit. Nope. Not multiply. Normal. Make sure I can go and fix that. Then we're going to add a little highlight to this. Give me that. Nope, that wasn't it. Here we go. Because I, I don't want it too dark. Like, look how dark that is. That's crazy dark. It's not that dark. And I'm going to light that just a little bit. And look at that. Give it a my lashes. It's beautiful. You're gorgeous, Vegeta. You gotta compliment your art. Otherwise, it's not gonna feel like it's loved. Alright? If it doesn't feel like it's loved, it's not gonna look like it feels like it's loved. Alright, so now it's looking a little dark. Well, that's what we go with the overlay brush. Take the brush. I swear I can talk, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, we take the overlay brush and we do this trick that I saw Sakimi Chen do. And we set it to like 50, 20, or 30%, whichever one you want. Then we go this, and this, then we go to normal. And it's like, <gasps> the does that takes up like. Half the eye. You're right. It's ridiculous. Okay. Okay. It does. That's like half of the eye gone. I know. I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. But trust me. This is gonna work. Just trust me. Okay? I did this like five times. I want to add in the gray, the blue gray back in. So this is like personal, you know, what you want. So for me, I do want it, so I'm going to add it real quick. get a little lighter. It's too light. I'm gonna bring this color back a little bit. But as you can see, like it's just you gotta just play with the colors. That's really all it is. You play with the colors. And amazing things happen. Actually, I think I did add those in too early. This is what I mean by play with it, though. You're going to run into a lot of things. You're like, it doesn't make sense. It does not make sense. And that's okay because you're experimenting. That is A-OK. -okay. And I, I did claim in the beginning that I'm not, I'm not a professional. This was something I was playing with, right? Because it's still something I'm playing with, obviously. And that's what you're gonna probably do when you try it on your own. And that's alright. It is alright. This was easier when I did it on the other tutorial. I'm sorry. It was like so much smoother. I'm so sorry I messed that up. <laughs> Alright, so we're just gonna go with normal. Make this light. 50%. Now we got that going on. Right, Dad, what are you 
doing doesn't look brown anymore. So no, I'm fixing it. I'm fixing it, guys. It's okay. Look at that. It may not look like it's doing much, but it is doing a lot. It is indeed doing a lot. And once you just like, just step back and you just look at it, you're like, wow. I did that. I am freaking awesome. And you know what? You are awesome. Not a lot of people believe that. Not a lot of people think that they're really good at what they do, and they are. You just gotta compliment yourself more. And you just gotta keep trying the new things. And then you just learn more new things. But that white is just usually to like unify the eye, I feel. And it softens around here. If you ever wanna make it more detail-y, well, you just go and you make it more detailed. You just take the colors, and you lightly press, and then you got details. And I'm going to bring this out more. Same with this. I'm going to bring it out like this. Okay, my eyes didn't come out brown. <laughs> Uh, because I added the gray, the blue, gray, blue. But as long as you don't do that, you'll get your brown eyes and you just lighten it with like one of these colors and overlay. I did it really well on the last one, but like I said, I'm still learning and, and it just takes trial and error. I like how that color comes out though, so I will add this right around the rim right here. Okay, I'll switch it back to normal. So, I'm sorry this isn't the best tutorial, just I do hope it helps in some way or form my dear friend and watchers who are ever watching. And I'm going to bring back this highlight because it got lost with the uh, the shading and stuff. So we're going to bring back this highlight. We're going to put it on 100%. Take a light color that isn't white. And we're going to bring it back. But look at those eyes. Look at them, people. Look at what you have created. So we're going to go back through the eyes. And here we are. First try, second try, third try, fourth try, the fifth try, and then our try. Yeah, they definitely came up more blue and I apologize. But just don't put in the blue gray and just mess with like the, the skin colors. Mess around in here and around this area and you should get browner eyes. That's basically what I learned from what I studied. Uh, from the videos. And it helped me like it helped me more uh, with the with the eyes. Because I always thought, oh I know how to do the eyes, so realistically, I totally got this, and then I just I obviously didn't get it. <laughs> um, but I do hope this helps in some way, shape, or form. If not, I am sorry. But thank you for watching. If you would like me to do some more tutorials, I can try. I'm not the best, as you can tell. But I do know a few things. And if I don't, well, then I just can't make the tutorial. <laughs> um, well, have a nice day. Thank you for watching.